How about I write the story? Because I think I can better communicate the sentiment <laughs> with the story than um, these kinds of arguments that people that everyone has had probably 15 times. But I that's the I point of a storyteller. Better, better with a story. But 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 that's the point of a storyteller. That's exact. No, uh, uh, no. Uh, Christ was able to pass down parables because the stories that he told resonated. That is exact. James Craig exactly said the great point of a storyteller. Tolkien was able to pass down his points because he was a good storyteller. James said exactly the thing that good storytellers do. But a parable is only one form of storytelling. Yeah, this is, I, I would say that that's very different. I was using an example. <laughs> well, I know what you were saying. I'm just, that's the obvious flaw in the logic, unfortunately. A parable is only one form of storytelling but that's not what james was talking about i was simply using a specific point to sure to sure i mean you're right in, in some cases you are correct but if you say that it's in all cases then i would disagree with you it, it is nothing is in all cases well I mean, that, that's, that's all i'm morality getting. is in all cases that's the point and one of the things that gets missed in the nature versus nurture concept is that the foothold of the argument is that nature is morality and nurture is learned behavior. Mm. That's the, I don't, well, nope. that's the I, don't, I don't agree with nature often. being morality. Hey, before, oh, I don't wait, agree with nature being morality. Diet, like monologue. All, all Go ahead, I want to say is that nature and nurture both remove choice, which is literally the first thing that James actually mentioned. Correct. So we're talking about, we're, we're, we're talking about something that's utterly different than what, what he even mentioned. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> yep. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to listen, but I'm just saying it's a different, <laughs> different subject. You know I'm what I mean? So morality. Uh, morality. I, mean, I think that you're actually well. agreeing with him in a mm -hmm. way. So we've just like, we've gone in a big, big circle. <laughs> no, it's no, I am so. All right. All right, I have to do the swear jar thing, and they're gonna give me shit. In the chat. I'm so fucking happy the conversation got here, and, you need and to hurry I am up we utterly have happy stuff. that Iron Age Nights happened because this is the stuff that I love talking about. Me too. I mean, this this gets into the essence of not just storytelling but human beings themselves, which, mm -hmm. oh, what do you have a right to talk about being a human being? Well, I am one motherfucker, so <laughs> get bent. But conversations like these where you sit and you ask, okay, what draws a human being in? Which leads to the question of, well, what draws a human being in? Well, well, it's being a human. Well, what is that? That is the logical step. And most of us go, well, that's really complicated. Well, probably. Mm. But is it? Yeah. We make it a lot I, more complicated than it needs I, to be. I would argue... And this may be really reductive. But I would argue that being human is this. Love, companionship, some moment of heroicism in your life. I've, I've had my hero moments. No, it wasn't as awesome as, you know, Nakatomi Plaza, sad day. <laughs> but I've had my moments of heroicism in my life. And then moments of companionship. Like, that's it. Love, companionship, moments of heroicism, moments of gratitude, moments of character building for yourself. 
where you become more than what you were the day before. I think it's, I think it's that simple. And we often get lost in the weeds with how many personalities there are on the world. But at the end of the day, if we, if we look to write characters and this is something that I have said for years, because I've always hated the term. I want to wake up tomorrow, a better man than I am today. I've hated that term. Cause I don't know. I don't know one man on the planet that actually, that actually consciously works on who they are when they sleep. I, I, yeah, I you can't do it while you're sleeping. Yeah. I've, I've, I've changed it. I, and this is actually something that you I can go to bed <laughs> better than you were the day before. But, but and that's exactly up. and that's exactly yeah. where I'm going. Yeah, that's and that because this is something I uh, I I've said since I I think I was a teenager. I don't know. I I've talked with some people that I've known for many years, and they have told me that I have said this since they've known me, and they have known <laughs> me since I was at least in my early twenties. But at the end of the day. The best way to tell a story, I think, is this, is to write a character who just believes in going to bed at night a better person than they were when they woke up that morning. And it's... That's really broad. Well, what do you mean? Well, I don't know. Wake your person up in the morning. Did you want to drink ale the second that he woke up? Because you're writing a fantasy story and fantasy stories, we have ale and mead and all that stuff. Well, maybe maybe he doesn't go for an ale. Maybe he fights for something that day. But a person who just wants to be better when they go to bed than they were when they woke up as. So there's another option here. Uh, if you... Go to bed after making the world a better place. Yeah. I mean, that's called victory. <laughs> All right. Well, so that, this that's is kind of the mindset that Detective Blackstone has in my Cyberpunk series. He, he's not out to change himself, uh, but he's the one that goes down to the ghetto that the rest of the police officers ignore, and he goes and helps people because it's the right thing to do. And it is an endless, thankless task where basically everyone hates him for being a police officer. But it's the right thing to do. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.